all my hurt and pain. You saved me so I can live again. I thank you, Lord. All you brought me through. Oh, Lord, I'm in love with you. Oh, say it again. Save me from all my hurt and pain. And you save me so I can live again. Thank you, Lord. All you brought me through. Oh, Lord, I'm in love with you. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us in what you need us to be. Today, Lord. Every day. Every day. Have your way in every way. Right now, we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me. As you see fit for the kingdom. And right now, Lord, right now, we lay everything on the altar. We lay on the altar right now, the attack on this ministry right now. We lay that attack on the altar right now, Lord. And we put the attack in your hands, Lord. And whatever is going on in your life, take it right now and lay it on the altar and give it to the Lord. The victory is in giving it to the Lord. No stress, no fear, no worry. Take that thing heavy on your mind, heavy on your heart, and lay it on the altar and then let go. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover, the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the great physician, the strong tower in each of our lives whose hand we never let go, we never ever let go of your unchanging hand. You're the same yesterday, today, forevermore. You are the air we breathe as a deer panted for the water. So our soul longs after you, Lord, every single day. We inhale the breath of life, exhale the word of God I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me inhale the breath of life exhale the word of God have no fear stand still and see the salvation of the Lord inhale the breath of life exhale the word of God with God all things are possible. Oh, we say thank you right now, Lord. Thank you for the victory, for the healing, for the breakthrough. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Oh, sing it, family. Did you save me from all my hurt and pain? Did you save me so I can live again? I thank you, Lord, all you brought me through. Oh Lord, I'm in love with you. Oh, say it again. You save me from all my hurt and pain. You save me so I can live again. Thank you, Lord. All you brought me through. Oh Lord, I'm in love with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God, family. Praise God. What I need to do right now, right quick, don't go away. It's going, to, it's going to buffer for a few minutes. Remember, this is the first time we've been on this channel. And I've never, I've never broadcast longer than one hour. So 
in in case we get cut off i'll come back for part two because i've never gone longer than an hour on this channel as you see as you see this channel is a newer channel the numbers are smaller and the and the the subscribers are smaller so sometimes they don't give you the same amount of time to stream when you're a smaller channel so just in case we get interrupted i'm gonna come back for part two but right now right now the camera is just jammed and i can't see you guys so what i'm gonna do right here don't go away it's gonna restart for a minute i'll be right back amen so don't don't go away i'll be right back praise god hallelujah thank you lord thank you jesus Praise God, praise God, amen, amen, amen. Am I still here? Do I still have everybody here? Praise God, praise God. Welcome back, I'm back. I had to, I had to restart. Praise God for this victory day. We call this victory day. We call this day the day of victory, amen, amen. Praise God. Day, Deborah St. Louis, welcome back, welcome back, amen, amen. Praise God, praise God. Amen. Welcome back, everybody. Amen, brother. Amen, Don. Amen, Don. Dana. Amen. Wait for everybody to get your numbers back. Praise God. Oh, amen. Now, of course, uh, because I don't know how long we have today, today's message is basically, we, we have a victory already. We are in victory already because we came back with a praise just, just by the fact we came back and started praising. That is the victory, right? That's the victory already. The fact that we're still here right now, after the devastating hit on Saturday, trying to trying to shut the down. It did shut the down. It did shut the other channel down. It did shut the other channel down. Let me give you a report. Let me give you guys an update of what's going on. Even though, even though I'm not going to mention any names, I can't I can't mention names again in the video because we got to make sure. We don't give them an excuse to take the video down. The other video tells you, the other video tells you who it was. The other video. But right now, we're just surviving. Like this, like this, like the like title says, we're now surviving the attack. This is day, this is day 22. This is day 22 of the fasting and praying. We're in day 22. So we understand, we understand that that attack, that attack was directly trying to get the numbers of the subscribers and the and the viewers. It was all about it. Amen. Amen, Dana. Thank you, Dana. Amen. That's what it was all about. That's what it was all about. So we understand, we understand that that attack was successful in one way, but it wasn't successful because we're still here. We are still we are still here praising and we're still here worshiping. That's the victory. And that is the victory. And we're now walking in day 22, day 22 of our fast and pray. Amen. Now, the other thing I want you to make sure you understand uh, what to keep in prayer. Right now, right now, the status of the other channel, the, the status of the other channel is in jeopardy of losing all 1,400 videos. What did survive, what did survive were the videos I, my, my publisher of my music, a lot of my music survived because it was uploaded by my, my publisher. But what's, what right now, what is in jeopardy right now is losing all of the, all of the prayers that were uploaded through the channel. So that's 1400 videos and about, uh, and all the golden nuggets, all the gold, golden nuggets will be gone. All the mini nuggets will be gone and all the prayers will be gone. So I have to re-upload as much as possible what survived. So the so the attack, the attack tried to wipe out everything. And we know what we know what we know who's behind that. When you try to wipe out the word of God, when you try to wipe out blessing people, you know who's behind that. We know the devil comes to steal, kill, destroy. We are not surprised. We are not surprised. At home with the word. At home. Yep. Yep. At home with the word. All that's gone. At home with the word. Everything on the channel is in jeopardy of being completely destroyed. So right now, what I had to do, I had to 
form an appeal to YouTube. I had to lift up YouTube. Not lift up. Yes, yes. Let's do lift up YouTube. I had to fill out a report to tell YouTube none of that was me. Because YouTube still thinks YouTube still thinks that I was the one behind the new name. YouTube thought I changed the name of the channel and started abusing the channel. I, it wasn't me, as we know. Those of you who saw the man yesterday on on Facebook trying to stream from the tube. The man yesterday was trying to stream from our channel. As soon as I reported, they took it down. And then I went back. I went back and reported the channel. And that's why you don't see it now. Now what they told me <clears throat> for right now, right now, the channel has been terminated. They they told me if I wanted to appeal to fill out a fill out a form and explain. So last night, what I had to do was take the time and fill out exactly what happened, exactly when when the thing changed. And even though, um, even though sometimes when you go through this appeal, it does take time. Amen, woman of God. Sometimes it does take time. You have to go. They have to go through and look at what was changed, and when they see my phone number was changed, the password was changed, my email was changed. So what really got hacked? Google got hacked. You can't you can't change that unless you hijack Google. So to get to my channel, they had to hijack or they had to hack into my Google account. That's the only way you get to the YouTube channel is to hack the Google account to be able to get to the security and change the major things. So let's keep let's keep everything lifted. We're, we're praying for let's we're praying in agreement. We're praying in agreement for the restoration of 13 years. Amen, Jonah. For 13 years of work put into the channel to build it up. So we're just praying for restoration, the restoration of the videos, restoration, get it, restoration of the subscribers, if possible. We're just restoration, however God sees fit. We're praying for restoration, however. God sees fit. So we now we got we got to fix our Google account because John and I both have Google. So we have to we have to try to fix our Google account just to get just to get Google straight. And we're praying for the protection. It, it could be also it could be also theft. No super chats. No now super chat is not turned on here. But any profit any profits through that channel would go to the hacker. See. The any super chats, any profit going through that channel would go to the hacker and not to the ministry. So we have to make sure we're praying for restoration of all all that can be saved, all that God wants to be saved. Because bottom line, bottom line, as long as the word is still being taught, I said it yesterday in the post. Regardless of the attack, regardless of the attack on our ministry. The word will go forth. You can't stop the word. You can't stop the messenger. And even, doesn't matter who's preaching, the word of God will go forth regardless of the attack. The praise will go forth. Worship will go forth. We will survive the attack. Even just being here right now, being here right now already means we survive the attack. Day 22. Day 22 of our fast. And you know, it's so, what's so amazing, if you guys remember last week, remember last Monday, last Monday I said, we're, we're almost there, we're, we're past halfway. And last Monday I said, be ready for some kind of crazy attack from the devil because we're now at the end of the fast. Give me a thumbs up if you remember me saying that last week, I said, we're now on the second half of the fasting. And watch the devil try something to shake your fast, to 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 distract you, to discourage you, and, and and look what happened. One week later, the channel was in a major attack. But guess what? We're still here, we're still praising, we're still worshiping, and we're still on fire for the Lord. We're still on fire. So it doesn't matter. See, even let me let me make it clear. 
last night, of course, now I'm 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 not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had to take a deep breath. This attack did make me take a deep breath. Every attack, see, I don't deny when you get when you get blindsided, let me make this clear. When you get blindsided, having to step back and take a deep breath, that's natural. You you gotta take a deep breath. When you get blindsided and see everything taken like this, don't don't get don't go don't get depressed. Stop for a minute. Take a deep breath. Whew, Lord, what just happened? Lord, what just happened? Everything's gone. Everything is gone. Lord, what just happened? Take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, Lord, you're still in control. You are still in control. See, no matter how it looks, no matter how it looks, God is still in control. No matter, no matter what is taken, no matter what is taken, God is still in control. No matter what the devil tried to do to destroy the ministry, God is still in control. It's so funny. It's so funny we're on this channel. Because, because, because what happens, what happens is when you, when you're, uh, just as I was, just as this channel, just as I formed this channel seven years ago, this channel was formed the same time as the ministry channel. But God said, work on the ministry channel first. So I worked on the ministry channel first. And then seven years ago, I was about to come here and do a ministry called Fit for Jesus. I had just planned, I told you OG ones know this. I had just planned to start a ministry called Fit for Jesus. And it would be exercising and prayer, exercise and pray. That was the concept. And the same weekend I had planned to start that concept is when I had the accident that knocked me on my back and took my back and knees out. And so that so I couldn't go forth with the fitness plans for this channel at that time. So it's so apropos that this channel, even though the accident stopped the fit for Jesus at the time, the accident, this attack took us back to this channel which was originally going to be fitness and prayer. So in your face, devil, this channel was already a backup. The Lord had me do this channel. Even though you see videos of exercise on it, he still saved this channel as a backup for the attack he knew was coming. So that we wouldn't break, we would not break rank. We would still be meeting without a hinder. The pandemic didn't stop us. We, we, we've been praising and praying through the pandemic, through the chaos, we've been praying and nonstop the past two years through all the chaos in the world. And we're still here. And we're still on fire. And that made the devil mad. He thought the pandemic was going to interrupt the, the broadcast. It didn't. He thought my surgery was going to interrupt the broadcast. It didn't. He thought, he thought taking me down and being sick for a minute was going to stop the ministry. But it didn't. So in your face, in your face has happened so many times in this ministry. OG ones, remember, OG ones, remember the the connection was attacked in year one, and used to, we got kicked off all the time in year two. The the devil has been trying to attack this ministry the entire time, and guess what? Guess what? The last day, the last day of fasting is the birthday of gold nuggets. The last day of our fast is the birthday of gold nuggets. That'd be the end of year five. So in your face, devil, we've been together five years on January 31st. January 31st is the birthday for gold nuggets. The end of the fifth year, five years, OG ones, twos, threes, fours, and five together right now, and going into year six. So who knows, who knows what's ahead? But what we do know, what we do know is ahead that God is there waiting for us. I have no idea what's going to happen in year six, but I do know that God is there waiting for us to get to year six. Whatever he's going to do, whatever he's going to do is going to be mighty because whenever God moves, it's always going to be mighty. We survived the attack. 
we survived the attack. And we had a we praised the day just like any other day. We praised the day like nothing happened over the weekend. We came together today. We had a good time, Lord. And that's what you do. You praise your way through. You praise your way to the victory over whatever you're going through. When I was upset, when I when I was upset when this first happened, like I said, I, I, I had I had to gather myself. I, I had to gather myself because the spirit of anger was out of control for about a minute. For about a minute, the spirit of anger came over me and I had to calm down. I had to I had to pray. I had to pray, Lord, peace be still. Lord, peace be still. My anger is out of control right now. Somebody have a nerve to just try to destroy this ministry. Man, I was I was shaking. I, I didn't I didn't tell Jonna. I didn't tell Jonna until later. Because I had I had to calm down. Because I said, this this attack was trying to steal all my joy, all my peace, all the work, all the praise, all the music, all the prayers. And we just had to kind of calm down because we did feel a loss. Amen, Jonna. We did feel a loss. We were mourning, mourning the loss of what was taken from us. But what, what the devil takes away, what God can bring it back for good. What the devil meant for evil, God can make a victory into it. So whatever, whatever comes out of this, whatever it comes out of this is still going to be victory. What the devil meant for evil, God will make it good. So who knows? Who knows? Whenever the devil says check, God always says checkmate. Whenever, whenever the devil says check, God says checkmate. So don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey. I don't get mad. I get more. You guys know me. You guys know me. First, I get mad, but then I get double energy. I get double energy. Now, the the, the praise report. <clears throat> the praise report is that I have I have a hundred and eighty mini nuggets. I was uploading on Vimeo. I was slowly uploading onto Vimeo.com the mini nuggets from uh, just slowly doing it. Uh, it took time, so I had gotten up to 188 mini nuggets on uh, on Vimeo.com. So if you go to Vimeo.com, I'll give you the address, Vimeo.com slash Jonahue ENT. Uh, Jonah, put this down, please. Uh, Vimeo.com forward slash Jonahue ENT. That's where you see a lot of the mini nuggets that were done. So those are still safe. They did not go through YouTube. Uh, and Don, Don, I was I was slowly doing a hard drive, but I wasn't rushing to it because I was considering YouTube to to be my hard drive. I never even thought about this happening on YouTube. Thank you, Jonna. So the website you see right there is where many of the mini nuggets are still stored. But I got to 180 so far that were there, but the rest of them. The rest of all the stuff on the on the on the channel, uh, golden uh, golden nuggets, uh, all the golden nuggets uh, uh, at home with the word, the six hour prayer, all the small prayers, those are all gone unless this appeal restores it, and I have to slowly re-upload everything. So the first praise is the first praise report is the fact that we're still streaming. Give me a thumbs up, put your give me hands up. I'm surprised we're still streaming on a small channel. What when I first started this channel, they didn't give you longer than, than 15 minutes. We've been we've been going right now for an hour and 20 minutes. So give a shout. Give a shout right now. Give a praise right now. We're still here on the first day on a small channel, not a big channel. The other channel, the other channel had 34,000 subscribers. This channel has barely over a thousand. So we're still here right now. We are still here right now in praise and worship and able to talk this thing out, to be able to talk this out as a fellowship, 
to thank you guys. I had to thank you guys for your prayers. Thank you for your, your support. Thank you for just being with us. This was devastating. This was devastating. And to see you guys praying, to see you guys praying for us and, and, and just being with us, I can't tell you, that touches us so much. Your love, your love is supported. We love you guys so much and we thank you. I can't thank you enough. That touched us more than anything else. Your, your prayers touched us more than the event. Your support meant more to us than the attack itself. OG ones, twos, threes, four, five, all you, all you, all the OGs, OG ones, twos, threes, four, and five. We're still here praising and we're still here shouting and we're still here praising and dancing and on fire for the Lord. And be inspired, hate, be inspired, hate. So we thank you guys now. So what we're gonna do, uh <clears throat> I, I don't want to push my luck because I don't know. I don't know how long I get because normally we go normally we go two and a half hours. So I'm surprised even right now we're still going. So I'm praising God. I'm praising God right now for this day right now is a victory. I'm continuing even, even if we lose all the other stuff. I'm continuing the numbering where it was. So this is still less than 1,473. This is still less than 1,473 in honor, in honor of the 1,472 videos that were trying to be stolen. Just keep praying. Keep praying, keep praising, and keep supporting us because we know, we we understand. We this This channel, this channel has been under attack since day one. And we understand whenever you're teaching the truth, whenever you're about blessing people, whenever you're about trying to bring the, the, sh the sheep into the fold, there's going to be a, a victory just seeking restoration, seeking God's face through the storm. And I, I guess you can say right now, we are definitely in a storm. We are definitely in a storm right now. So actually, the fact that the storm happened during the fast, we're already praying more. We're already praising more. The fact, the fact that this channel is still here and the attack happened during the fast. I told you guys, I told you guys, be ready for any kind of attack during the fast. I said that, remember, I said that. This is an example of what the devil does when you fast and pray to try to make you break your fast, to make you give up, trying to make you give cash in. Amen, John. A tsunami, this is a tsunami attack. But, he, but like Sheila says, like Sheila says every day, we receive a tsunami blessing. So this was a tsunami attack. But guess what? We have a tsunami blessing to counter the tsunami attack because we got Almighty God. And is there anything too hard for God? Jeremiah, Jeremiah twenty-seven, Jeremiah thirty-two twenty-seven, Jeremiah thirty-two twenty-seven. Is there anything too hard for me? Says the Lord. Amen. Amen. Tanya, this this channel, this little channel, this little channel, is the ram in the bush. Amen. Amen. Tanya. What do I do now? The Lord said, you got you got the other channel. Actually, I have three channels. There's another channel that's even smaller than this where I keep my acting stuff. So I have a third channel as well. So I have three channels and the biggest one got attacked. So God knows, God knows what's ahead. And if if I had if I had just stayed on task, I started uploading mini nuggets two years ago but then i got lazy because i said well i got it i got it all on youtube see this this is an example this is an example of why you obey the holy spirit i was uploading 10 mini nuggets uh uh every week starting in 2019 
because I had 500 to go. But then when I got to 180, I started getting lazy. I said, well, you know, I got me, I got me nuggets on YouTube, but God had me, God had me uploading on a Vimeo because he knew an attack was coming. He had me backing up me nuggets on Vimeo, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking nobody's watching Vimeo. Nobody knows about Vimeo. Why am I uploading on Vimeo when nobody knows about it? What God was doing, he said, you need to back these things up because an attack is coming. I had no idea an attack was coming. I'm thinking YouTube is the best, the best place to keep your videos. But God knew he was having me upload the backup. So we always, amen, Tanya, amen. You never put your eggs in one basket. And so thank God, thank God, most of the music was uploaded through my 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 uh, my, uh, dis my distributor. So like God's healing our God's healing our power, bashing the presence, and a lot of the smaller songs, those are still saved. So if you put in Fitz Houston music, you'll still see some of the songs. If you put in Fitz Houston, you probably won't see it because what right now my name is still connected to the hacker. So you might put in Fitz Houston, but you won't see everything unless it's from the music publisher. The music publisher stuff is safe, but you won't see, you will not find anything that just says Fitz Houston that went through the other channel. That's what, that's what right now we're praying for restoration. However, however we pray for, that's what we're praying for. Amen. Amen. You know, I just want to, before we close, I want to, I want to, I want, like I said before, I want to do a prayer, but I want to, uh, I want you to turn, let's turn right now to Psalm 91. I want to close with Psalm 91 together. Psalm 91, I'm going to read the entire chapter. Like the song says, like the song says, thank you, Donna. All the music, yeah, all the music is number one music. Amen, John. Thank you. All of my music, all the music is on number one music. Amen. Exactly, exactly. Glenda. That channel right now is gone. The old channel right now is gone. Okay, Psalm, Psalm 91. We'll do this together. Let's go. I'm reading from the uh, New American New American Standard Version. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not approach you. You will look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. No evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands that you do not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. You will trample down because he has loved me, says the Lord. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high because he has known my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I'll be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him. And let him see my salvation, says the Lord. Psalm 91. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Now turn to Ephesians. Ephesians 6. 
Ephesians 6 10. What we're doing, what we're doing right now, we're speaking the word of God over the attack. What we're doing right now is we're speaking the word of God over the current attack. Amen. Ephesians 6 10. 10 through 18. Ephesians 6 10 through 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you'll be able to resist in the evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, stand firm, therefore, having girded your loins with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, in addition to all taking up the shield of faith with which you'll be able to extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the spirit. And with this in view, be on the alert with all perseverance and petitions for all the saints. May Lord bless the reading of his word. Ephesians 6, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Amen. Ephesians 6 through 8, 10 through 18. See, these are the promises we hold on to. And there are many others. You guys have your favorite scriptures. Matter of fact, matter of fact, under this video, under this video, please post your favorite scripture under this video when it goes archived. When this video goes archived, post your favorite scripture under this archive. The, int, the, the scripture for strength, the scripture for victory, whatever it is, whatever scripture you feel we need to meditate on during this week, during this attack, post it under the archives once it goes, once it goes archived. There's where two or more are gathered in his name. He's in the midst. Now here, Glenda, under archives, archives, Glenda, archives. Put it under archives, not now. Because I want to make sure in archives, we can, re we can respond to it. When you put your comments in archives, we can respond to each other and pray for each other. So when you have a scripture, when you, when you list the scripture, type the scripture out. Now, of course, like a case, now, of course, uh, Glenda, the entire chapter is good. <laughs> so like for Psalm, Psalm 119 or Psalm 121, just pick your favorite part of it. Those entire scriptures are great. So Psalm, uh, John, put this down. Write this down. Psalm 91, Psalm 121, and Psalm 119. Those are good entire chapters to read. So during this week, during this week, read these scriptures, your scriptures, and the scriptures we share with each other. But write down right now Psalm 19, Psalm 119, and Psalm 121. The entire chapter, read the entire chapter of those two. And then add all the others. Amen. Praise God. And right now, before we close, before we close this beautiful day of victory, I'm going to read the prayer booklet. Right now, I'm reading the prayer booklet, Daily Hedge Protection. We, we definitely need to buy in this. Right now, I'm going to read the Daily Hedge of Protection from the prayer booklet. Praise God. Praise God. For the prayer booklet right now, I'm going to read the Daily Hedge of Protection. Praise God. Beginning right now. In the name of Jesus, I bind the wills of every person, known and unknown, me, my family, the fellowship, and every loved one to the will and mind of Christ. I bind our bodies, soul, and spirit 
to mind, emotions, purposes, and will of God for our lives. I bind our mind, will, and emotions to the will of God. I bind us to the truth and the blood of Jesus. I bind our minds to the mind of Christ, that the very thoughts, feeling, and purposes of his heart would be within our thoughts. I bind our feet to the paths of righteousness, that their steps would be steady and sure. I bind us to God's timing in our lives. I bind us to the work of the cross with all his mercy, grace, love, forgiveness, and dying to self. I loose every old, wrong, ungodly pattern of thinking, attitude, desire, idea, belief, motivation, habit, and behavior from us. I tear down, crush, smash, and destroy every stronghold associated with these things. I loose any strongholds in our lives that has been justifying and protecting hard feelings against anyone. I loose the strongholds of unforgiveness, fear, and distrust from us. I loose the power and effects of deceptions and lies from us. I loose confusion and blindness of the God of this world from us. From our mind, from our mind that has kept us from seeing the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I call forth every precious word of scripture that ever entered into our mind and heart that it would rise up in power within us. In the name of Jesus, I loose the power and effects of any harsh word, word curses spoken to about or by us. I loose all generational bondages and associated strongholds from us. I loose all the effects and bondages and associated strongholds from us that may be caused by mistakes we have made. Father, in the name of Jesus, I crush, smash, and destroy generational bondages of any kind for mistakes made at any point between generations. I destroy them right here, right now. They will not bind and curse any more members of the families mentioned in the beginning. I bind the strong man Satan that we may spoil his house, taking back sevenfold every material and spiritual possession he has wrongfully taken from us. I loose the enemy's influence over every part of our body, soul, and spirit. I loose, crush, smash, and destroy every evil device he may try to bring into our sphere of influence during this day. I loose all negative influences of the world from us. I crush and smash all the deceptions the enemy may try to use to confuse us. I tear apart, crush, crush and rip asunder the effects of the enemy in every area of our life. Our finances, families, home, work and businesses. I bind and loose everyone mentioned in this prayer earlier. God has given me the keys, the authority to do so. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. All these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God, fellowship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, Father God, right now, Father God, I pray this intercessory prayer, Lord. I pray this intercessory prayer, Lord over everyone in the fellowship right now, Lord. I pray for each person here right now. You know what each person is going through, Lord. You already know what each fellowship member is going through right now in their own life, Lord. And right now, I stand in agreement with every fellowship member and their prayer for loved ones, for healing, for attacks, for struggles, for provision, for whatever it is they need, Lord. I stand in agreement with every unspoken prayer request that every fellowship member has right now on their heart. And decree and declare that all 
their prayer requests. All their prayer requests. All our prayer requests for the survival of this ministry. And everyone who takes part in this ministry. Everyone who supports the ministry. Everyone who, who believes in the ministry. We pray, Lord, for your hedge protection to be over everyone mentioned right now, named unnamed, spoken unspoken, to be covered by the blood of Jesus from this day forward as we continue to survive this attack. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. And of course, for anyone listening right now, for the first time, this is a new channel. If you're watching for the first time on this sports channel, and this is our Bible study channel, this is our Bible study series. This let this series of this series of golden nuggets is in the playlist called Golden Nuggets Fit for Jesus. Woo! See in your face, devil. I'm using the title God gave me seven years ago. The playlist is Golden Nuggets Fit for Jesus. On the fitness channel, golden nuggets be fit for Jesus. No, no, don't don't just get, don't just get your body in shape, get your spirit in shape. Yes, this is a fitness channel, but your spirit must be in fitness too to praise and worship and stand still. You got to be fit for Jesus to be able to make it in the end times. Fit Jesus in your mind, body, and soul, not just a body. Fit for Jesus in spirit. That's why he gave me the title. We got to be fit for Jesus physically and spiritually. And maybe that's why he brought this. Maybe that's why he brought this to this channel. Because he gave me the concept seven years ago. People need to understand it's not about just your body. It's about your spirit too. Your spirit and your body must be fit for Jesus. Your body is a temple. Your body is the Holy Spirit's temple. And the fitness in your spirit is for your salvation. So indeed, they do work together. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So when you want to watch the archives, they'll be in the Golden Nuggets Fit for Jesus playlist. Amen. Before we close, I know someone's watching right now for the first time who doesn't understand what's going on. But right now, I want to, I want to let you understand if you've been busy the whole time. And right now, I'm going to the closing prayers. And the prayer of salvation. Get, I'll go, I'll get, see now. Remember, as always, anything typed during the closing prayers is deleted. I respect for the Holy Spirit. So please wait for any further comments until after the closing prayers. Amen. Right now, I'm talking to the person here. You've been here first time. And you heard the praise. You heard the praise, the worship. But you say, wow, what is this? But right now, you're not connected because right now, your life is falling apart. <clears throat> you found this channel as your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Families turned away from you. Friends stabbed you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yet somehow you find yourself on this channel, have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. Because God sees what you're going through right now physically spiritually emotionally that's why you're here you may be here as a backslider in guilt for whatever reason you chose to leave god and go back into a life of sin and now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world and now the devil's telling you once you leave god or fail god you can't go back and that right there is a lie for the pit of hell no one is perfect all have fallen short so if you say the prayer of salvation and you fell back into a life of sin, there is nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life, recommit your life to Christ, and there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So you're way walking in hopelessness, fear, negativity, or you're walking as a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, or you just don't know. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Either way, pray with me. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. 
I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I want Jesus to be Lord and Savior of my life. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without lifting up to you first. Create in me, O oh Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is not right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and also convict us. We are not one God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Feed your spirit. Starve your flesh. Feed your faith. Starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you'll feel in your life. God let you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, name it unnamed, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell for which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy. Loose, peace beyond understanding. Loose, restoration, Lord, restore every area of our life. Loose reconciliation, Lord, bring reconciliation to marriages and families falling apart right now because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please give me hedge protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes we heal, Lord. And every day, Lord, we confess it every day. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Every day, confess it, see it, live it, breathe it. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H, pray until something happens. Loose, supernatural overflow, financial breakthrough, supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, let your blessing, Lord. Let your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on the fellowship and financial need, whatever it is. For you should supply all our need according to your riches and glory. In Christ Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything but the Lord is my shepherd. For we're the head and not the tail. We're above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we may be a blessing to others. We are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We are children of God and nothing shall by any means hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know every day, Lord, every day we see it. See your miracle. See it. Believe it. Receive it in your heart. And as you receive it in your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day we wake up could be the day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep you family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his face of divine approval upon you and give you peace that you may be a blessing to every you touch and speak to, a blessing to every you pass by and pray over. 
a blessing to have when you pass by and bless without opening your mouth because of love and light the Lord is all over you 24-7 365 including leap year so Father God all these things we ask Lord all these things we ask in Jesus name we pray that fellowship say amen amen amen